Hey guys. Uh, I've been playing around with the beacon. Right now I have it set to jump two. And man, do you jump high. You jump at least two and a half. Whoop. I wonder if you can jump three. So tall is this wall? Three? Whoop. Uh, that's four. Let's try three. Yeah, you can't jump three, but you can definitely jump two. And these guys are two and a half. So that's pretty cool. I've been just doing some manual labor. <laughs> just cooking some more stone up. I've got some stone brick here ready to go. I've converted converted. I have converted a bunch to stone bricks just because in terms of space each each stack is actually six stacks of or not six stacks, but Six stacks of stone converts down to four stacks of stairs, so because I do need a lot of stairs down there, in terms of trip and space, it makes sense to convert a bunch of them to stairs beforehand. That way I can move a lot more stone per trip, if that makes sense. Anyway, I've also got my uh, the ore packager all stocked up full of coal, and I fixed it apparently. I don't know if I actually did, but it didn't clog up at all. I don't remember if I did anything to it, mind you, so maybe I was, something was going wrong last time. But it seems to be fixed, and I yeah, don't know what I did to fix it, if anything at all. Anyway, before I harvest that, because I've been going through a lot of coal, converting all that cobblestone to stone, I'm going to see if... And I put a chest down here just with some more so I can quickly change this thing around when need be. But let's try haste and see what that does. So let's set that to I did not make it out. Let me out. There we go. Okay, now we have haste two. And I Oops. And most of this machine is with within range, I think, of the of the effect, or at least up to here, maybe, maybe not. Maybe I'm wrong. There we go. And as long as I don't go over here for more than eight seconds, I should be able to maintain the haste. So I just want to see if it's if there's a noticeable increase. So we can compare kind of this half. Okay. Now let's go out of range on this side. Wait for that to wear out. And try... See if we can notice a difference. Hmm. There is a difference. Okay, what am I using? My yeah, it is efficiency four. Okay, let's go back to the side. Maybe a slight increase, not so noticeable with the coal, I don't think. Maybe you guys can see a difference, but to me, it doesn't seem that much quicker. I guess I could time myself breaking half of it and then time myself breaking the other half. But oh well, I've already begun. Too late! And I should be able to reach a decent amount even without leaving, I think. Yeah, I don't know. Not a huge difference, at least to me. Let me try again without it. Hmm. Yeah, I guess it's faster, but it's not like a difference between a regular efficiency and a unefficient or non non-efficiency. Actually, let's check. I might have just a fortune pick with no efficiency on it whatsoever. Which 
will probably be more noticeable with that. Let's see. Yeah, here's a Fortune 3 with just unbreaking. So no efficiency whatsoever. Oh, it just wore off. Okay, so. Without. Is faster. Seems like almost like the two hit or the two that that break that that break that that break opposed to the, a triple. If that makes any sense, at least audibly. Let's get out of it again. Yeah, like knock 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 break knock 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 break knock 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 break. So it's a little quicker. Not huge, I find. I know you can do, I think, I think it's an efficiency 5 pick. You can do instant mine with stone. I guess I saw JL2579. Is that his number? 2579. Yeah, I think he did a little video showing that with an efficiency 5 pick and the haste, I think it was haste 2, could have been haste 1, I don't know. But you can instamine stone the same way you can like instamine dirt with an efficiency four shovel. Of course you're limited to I think you can only get efficiency five on gold, maybe. Maybe you can get it on iron too, but I don't think you can get it on diamond anymore. So that could be useful if you had that set up like in your branch mine. Imagine how quickly you could mine stuff. <laughs> Just turboing through. Why don't we try efficiency 4 with some cobble. Let's see what we get. Which one's efficiency four? Don't really have one other than the efficiency, so we'll just use that. Why not? Hmm. Yeah, I don't notice a huge difference there, at least with efficiency four. Nope, I'm still in haste. There we go. Well, I guess. Faster, but not like turbo. Okay, there we should have saw. It's kind of initiated partway through. But anyway, thought I would share that as I was doing it. And I'm going to continue. Oh, that's almost dead now. I will continue mining the rest of this out and bring you back afterwards. Okay, uh, I got some experience from mining that ore out and also from cooking some cobble. Just gonna do an enchantment on a pick. I already did one and I got a efficiency four on breaking three. So good, yeah, exact same. So I've done this twice. So those are good working picks. Don't mind that at all. So right now I am going to go to the nether, I think. Whether I bring you guys along is the question. Hmm. Is this right? Is this right? I always forget where I'm putting them. Try to put all the efficiency threes here for the nether brick or nether rack. Efficiency fours, silk touch. And then the fortunes are all over here. Oh, that's right. Probably line those up. And I just 
the other pick like this, Fortune 3, Unbreaking 3, I just took off the enchantment. Got the broken one, and that's the one I just re-enchanted. Chances are, especially when I've got all these Fortune 3, I'm not going to bother with the Unbreaking 3. So, but yeah, uh, depends, on, I guess, on what part of the Nether Fortress I end up working on. I'm just doing the typical replace of existing areas. I probably won't show any of it. However, I want to work on that gas, not gas, sorry, the blaze farm area. And kind of redo that area and work that into the current theme. So if I end up working on that today, I will bring you guys along for that. Uh, I think I need some arrows and a bow. I have a really good bow here, but I think I'll leave it behind. It's, I don't think it's really necessary. I have enough arrows. So I think I'll just bring like a power three. Yeah. That's almost gone. Maybe I'll just bring that. It's typically one shot, I think, with a power three kills a gas. And then it's pretty much a two shot for the blaze. And even with this, it's typically, I think, a two shot for a blaze. So might as well just use this. And I'll just bring some more arrows. And I'll have to bring some arrows from the unloaded chunk eventually to replace, replenish, and all that. So I'll be transporting all this, and I think as much as this as I can carry. And I believe I already have enough potions over there for now. really wish there was a good way to do potions in the nether. The whole water thing. Like they have on the Minecraft with their pre-existing water. Uh, like the other thing I'm thinking of maybe doing is I could create a portal. I always get confused here now when I come up. I could create a portal at the fortress. Run, damn you, run! Oh, it seems so slow <laughs> after being haste. Or, yeah, is it haste too? No. Speed 2. Speed 2 is so nice. Oh yeah, that's what I was talking about. Uh, yeah, you can see I've got the bedrock shown there. I'm glad this this tunnel finally got done. I think it looks okay. Clean anyway. I don't think I've done any work on here since I've shown you guys. Maybe I have. And I don't really like this tunnel at all. What I might end up doing with this, because this is three wide, I guess technically five wide, and I think the nether path is six wide. Or am I wrong? Hey, let me out. Uh oh. I'm peaceful. <laughs> I think when I went to the test world. Uh, one, two, three, four. No, it's five wide. Why doesn't this line up? What am I missing? What am I missing, guys? Five. Did I not say this was five? Five. It's like the tunnel's off by one. It is. I am stupid, I think. Yeah, this whole thing should be over one. Well, that sucks. <laughs> well, I might have to move the whole thing over. That's annoying. Yeah, why did I do that? Why? I think... I think originally I had planned on widening this before I remodeled. Yeah, that sucks. Well, yeah, I think I'll probably end up moving it over then, one. Or widening it. Widening it. That might be an option, actually. Because this is pretty cramped going up. What I could do is widen it by two. So that it's at least the same as this one. Here it goes past one block. So if I did the same thing over here, brought this over two more. 
that would leave three gap here, and that could be for like running up instead of trying to work yourself here. The only other problem with that is you end up having to cross the tracks. So you'd have the walk up path here, but then it's over here. So it'd be better if you came here and went down. If I did that, that would mean I'd have to move this track over too. So that the walkway is on this side. Which means I'll have to move this wall over too. Probably bring this in too. So it's doable. Be a pain, a little bit of a pain, but is doable. So, just be one second, I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. Um, oops, not what I want. Oh, yeah, I'm like right full. Let's uh, for that. Put that back. I just want to put a block here so I can get out. And. I don't think I wanted to bring that pick anyway. Is that my soap touch? Typically have no use for soap touch out here. Yep, let's put that in here so I don't lose it, because that is a good one. Okay, now I can jump over and probably die, and I don't have potion. Okay, so what I want to do here, I think, is this, a similar style to I have underneath the bridges with the nether brick stair. So I'll probably have a outer rim of the regular stone, and then I'll work in another brick. And I'll probably change these to that. Create a little bit more of a bevel, I guess, bevel edge. Um, uh, let's not end the pearl to my death. Oh, almost did. Almost fell. But yeah, I want to do, let me just go over here. This style, if you can see, it's probably dark. If I get closer, put down torches that I don't have. But yeah, do something like that. Oh, we're also missing a stair here. Let's see if I can get it. Success! Swish! Okay, let's go up there. Uh oh, I think I fell short. Ho 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 ho! Yeah, I sure did fall short. Okay, let's just go up here. Let me out. Don't kill me. Oh god. Oh god. Don't have my sword. Don't have a sword. Oh, I have bow. I left that looting sword here. What? You arrow proof? Oops. Actually, I was going to bring. I have a looting three back that I found in the cow farm area. There's nothing else other than looting three, but I think I'll bring that over. I think it does affect the rare drops. So I think with a looting three, it should increase my chances almost double to get to get their skulls, so probably worthwhile having it. More so than getting extra beef, which I have tons of. Okay. Let's unload the stone. Um, whew, if I have room. Let's move all the stairs down here. Slabs. Oh. Bring on the blaze. Okay, well, I think I need another chest. Okay, I do have potions. Uh, let's just fill up the rest in here. And I'll probably drop off some of these arrows. Looks like I did just bring a bunch of arrows here already. Okay, where was I looking? Yeah, there's some arrows. Let's take that guy. Smite boar. I think I said I was going to talk about the battle with 
you know who. But I look back at the footage and it looks like I did use a smite four on him. And I think that did influence maybe. I don't know. Can't say for sure. It looked like I did significant damage. So that might have been from the smite. Okay. So yeah. I want to move I think I'm just gonna tear this wall down. So I want to tie this into this with the same theme. I'm just not sure how I want to do it. Actually, maybe I'll keep this wall. Convert it. I'll probably end up tearing this down. And all of this. Ooh, laggy. i got to find a way to shut these off. I know Ito's done it with lava. But I don't know if I can actually do that here. And I've actually put pistons in the corners where I don't think he has. So mine actually pushes him that way, and then that repeater's delayed, and then it pushes him that way. But I think I could possibly do it at the top with glowstone lamps. We'll have to see. Because they spawn at light level 11 and higher. I think it's the same as... Silverfish, I believe. Could be wrong. And if so, you can stop silverfish if you have block level... 15 right above. However, now that I'm thinking about it, the silverfish are able to put that those lamps one block lower because they are only a one tall, one high, tall, one tall high. Whatever, one high mob. <laughs> Where blaze are a two high mob, which means those lamps would end up being one block higher. But that should still work. Let's think about that. So three blocks high would be 15, so then 14, 13, 12, and 11. Yeah, they would still be able to spawn on the bottom half, the bottom row underneath the spawner, that lower third level that they spawn at. So that wouldn't work to shut them off, I don't think. Anyway, it's really only annoying when you're close to them main irritant is the fact that it knocks out the sound and it does all this glitchy stuff with the blocks from all the pistons and all that kind of stuff. Kind of annoying. So, anyway, maybe I will do that. Like I think I said in a previous episode, I want to try to enclose this whole area so that's protected in some way. And how I will do that, I'm not too sure yet. Whether it'll be something just like a wall or... If something going all the way around or something that just meets up with the spawner itself and uses the spawner as kind of an outside wall and then here maybe just put a roof across to protect you from above so that's the stuff I'm going to be trying to figure out now so I'll probably leave you guys for a bit while I try to do that I also got to figure out for these stairs I don't think I really like what's happening here so I'm not sure what I'll do, but I'll bring you back as I figure things out. Alright guys, been working away. Haven't made my way to this thing yet. I figured I would... gonna build up to it and then start transforming it. I think what I'm gonna do is put this wall back that used to be here. Convert this all to the stone brick theme. And have it just kind of a big area that way and then I'll really and I gotta figure out the sides as well, but as I was going, I had to work here. And I'm kind of not that well prepared to be working here. Got very little armor and keeping the fire on me, but I'm not actively keeping it like working all the time. When I'm not drinking it all the time, I'm just I fell in the lava once and I drank it. Actually I managed to enter pearl out of it out of the lava really quickly and then I drunk, drunk, drank the fire resist to stop the fire damage from taking me. Here I just finished doing this, the underside of the four-way connection. I do like how that looks. So I had like a little scaffold that I just tore down, kind of a cross, in the same shape as this, just underneath so I could just stand below and put that together. And I also worked on uh -oh, 
Now I can use right there. Oh, that was too high. That was too far. Oh. Keep thinking I'm gonna hit a pigman doing this. Overshooting. Yeah, poke your head up. A little higher. Okay, sorry. So I also did this so far. I just kind of worked from the front or the top, so there's still layers of another, another brick. You guys. Still layers of another brick, so I'll take care of that when I get underneath and do the posts. And then I'll do the same thing. I'll probably, man, <clears throat> swear I'm like 30. I should not be voice cracking. Okay. I'll put another, like, another rack scaffold underneath this guy to do the other side of him. Yeah, it's still going. Puberty's a bitch, especially the second time around. <clears throat> Alright, so. <laughs> but yeah, now that I've got this connected to this, I think I'm going to leave this part for now. And work on this guy. And then once he's done, then I'll worry about assimilating the rest of the fortress of the Sui. And then I gotta worry, work on some kind of storage area other than this. Because as I said, I don't like it. You outside? You are outside. Go away. No. I don't want to be on fire. Thank you. But yeah. Okay. Uh, I'll bring you back if I get anything more done today here. Otherwise, I'll bring you back some other day. And so forth, etc. Yes. Okay, just doing some windows here at the top. Basically making them the same as this, and that one kind of lines up with that one, but that's kind of where it was before. So I think that was just two, like the vertical windows, like that, but two, it might have been three. Three high, and then three high, and then another brick in between. This was a three by three, so I just added the two on the side with the stairs to make it look identical to these guys that I converted in the same fashion. And then what I've done is join it over here. There was a window here, it's not as big. Oh, no, there wasn't a window here. Here it had like the stairs that it usually has to go up to the top. That's what this room used to be. I guess the benefit of working here is I can just go down and kill these guys every once in a while. I'm at level 32. I don't know if I have anything here to enchant. So I'll probably head back. Plus this pick's about to die. I think I forgot to bring replacement ones. Yeah, just the silk touch. So what I'm thinking is I'll probably just end up joining this, I guess, here. Um, let's see here. Rid of that. Just get over here. So, yeah. Just should probably take a flame thing. Whoops. Oh, that noise or lack of noise. It's unnerving. <laughs> okay. So if I just remove like this strip and just replace it with solid, that could be a, like a, a wall transition. So that would be the outer wall, and we'd have not have to go all the way down. Oh, still, still voice cracking. Not have to go all the way down, and that would be kind of the perimeter. And I'd do a similar thing on that side probably. And I still have to work out a decent way of getting down to the death chamber. So let's go see if I have anything to enchant. Nope. Well, what I'm going to do then is just kill these guys and leave. Oh, we got Pigman in there. How many are there? 30 on that side and 60. Ooh, that's a lot of XP. I don't have anything. Do I have ability to make a bow or anything? 
doubt I have any string out here, but maybe. So yeah, this kind of roundabout way I built, I don't really like. I don't know what else I could do though. Hopefully I can think of something. Oh. And I'm lagging. Okay, no string. Make an iron sword. I'll just do that. Maybe we can get looting. Since I don't have much luck getting looting on my diamond swords. I've been wasting a lot of swords doing that. Let's try an iron one. At least these are cheap. Okay. Look at that. Looting three. First, first try. It's pretty good. Wish it didn't have knockback though. Maybe I'll keep it here anyway for killing the skeletons. Okay, let's try this out. It's not a hundred percent. A lot of times they die because they took damage on their way down. Oh, there's a skeleton in there too. <laughs> oh, I wonder if there were nether skeletons. A wither. Okay, now we'll take one of these. Two of these. Never kills them all. Those guys probably came down after. Oh, we got our audio coming back. Well, I wonder if this is going to get me over 30 again. Yes. Uh, one more orb. Okay. Oh, did I bring the iron down here? I did not. <laughs> you probably go enchant again. But anyway, this is what I'm going to be doing. Maybe I'll show you the enchant and then I'll let you go. Bring you back when I got something more. I should bring that down there, really. Yeah. Excuse me, big man. Out of space. Okay, what do we got? It's a lot of stuff. <laughs> Looting two. It's not bad sword. Not bad at all. Okay, I gotta make room. Get rid of the sticks. Throw some bottles. And the blaze rods. Okay. Well, I'll probably leave these ones here. And maybe I got 23. Uh, maybe I'll clear them out. Now these guys, I don't know what happened to them, so I'm going to use poison. So I think some of them were crushed and some of them weren't. So you can see those guys taking damage now. This thing is not 100%. <laughs> I don't know if I've ever showed you the wiring, but it's pretty awful down there. Very functional. Piece of cake. Eh, no problem. Easy to follow. Pretty straightforward. <laughs> I don't even know if I could explain it anymore. A bunch of delay RS Norlatches in this area. That's all these repeaters, anyway. And this one is a delay. Goes around, comes back, same as for that wheat farm. And then there's some um, T flip flop right here that controls. I think this is for this is for the poison. So there's just two outputs, and it changes between. That's so I can power up two different dispensers. So one here, one there. 
So after it uses one dispenser, it switches over to that one for the next pulse, and so forth, so that you can... You don't have to fill it up as often. But yeah, it's kind of a mess down there. Let's just cover that up. <laughs> Nothing to see there. Alright guys, I'll bring you back, because i got more to show you. Hey guys, I uh, went back to the overworld and now I'm back. I'm just playing around with some possible lighting ideas. Go away, pigment. You are in the way. And... What was that? I think it was like that. I was trying to just figure out where this location was, so I've done two of them. An interesting thing with the fence post is it's it's actually higher than the half slab, it seems. What's our coordinates? Whoops, screenshot. This episode was recorded on September 18th at 2.30 p.m. Okay. Neat, neat, neat. Where's our coordinate? Okay, 62 or feet, doesn't matter, whichever. 650, I guess it's the same. Doesn't change. Just looks like I go up a bit when I go over it. Yeah, where like here, you go, I, there's a bump. But anyway, get that graph off of there. Let's go around here. Let's see what it looks like. The benefit I see is it gives off some light. Maybe I should add two of them. Hmm. Yeah, let me do the other side. The two redstone lamps. Let's see if that looks any better. Okay, that is with two on the right and one on the left. Hard to say. I think I do like it. And it does give some light, which is nice. Both to the walkway and to the exterior to create some shadows. Otherwise, this place is fairly dark. Thing we could do, we we'll do still voice crack day today, you guys. <laughs> today I'm 13, maybe 14. Uh, I could run lava in the inside there so it would be visible through the half slams. I don't know if that would be a neat effect. I might try that on one of them and see what effect it makes. Let's go kill this guy. Now, this knockback is proving to not be all that beneficial. It sends them flying. However, I did get another skull, which brings my total to six. So we have two possible wither boss battles. Didn't get one there. Yeah. Also, I don't know what to do with this one. This broken one, if I should leave it broken, it doesn't really line up with anything. If I were to try to connect it here, I think it would just look dumb. So this will probably be either a broken one, or I might... This whole area is broken, actually. Yeah, I'll probably just dress it up the same way I did the broken guy over here. That would be the plan. But yeah, okay. I will bring you guys back. Just brought some redstone lamps over with me this time. Don't shoot me. Yeah, miss me. Okay, so this one. Do that. Take that away. Two of those. One of you, oh, not there. Um, here we go. This can only end in success. Hey. Yeah, I think so. I don't know. Let me, let me know what you think. Does Netherrack connect to these? Yes, it does. It's too bad. I don't think it's that noticeable over there. But, yeah. Alternatively, we could put lava in there too. I don't know. But anyway. Let me know your thoughts, if you don't mind, and I'll bring you back, as always. 
So my voice is dying, so I don't know how much longer I can record today. Well, I just hit a pigman, and it's incredibly bugged with the blaze, so I don't know if there are any around me. I was standing like right here too, I was just using a pick, and then he fell right in front of my pick. So yeah, good times. Hopefully I don't die. I'm almost done with this wall. And I can show you guys. I think I gotta change some of this out to another brick. Like that, which means that. Show you this process maybe for now. Finish this up, then we'll go up, kill the blaze, do an enchant, and take a look at what we've got so far. I think I want to change that out too. And that. I'm doing this even though it's hidden by the netherrack. <laughs> I don't know if I'll remove the netherrack or not, but. I don't know if I can actually get it. Yep. There we go. This is basically all I do. Oh, my night vision is wearing off. It may get to be dark for you. And I may need to cut this recording quickly as I'm just waiting for someone to show up. Oh no, that's not what I wanted. Wreck that one. Nothing but fire. Fire. No, well, I guess I'm on another rack yet. Yeah. Okay. Uh, solids, let's get rid of that. Okay. <laughs> That's a bookshelf. That's that. Uh, oh no. That's Pigman. Can't even hear him. It's just like quiet. Oh no. Go away. Okay, these ones over here should not be aggro. I did put some armor on, which is probably the only reason I'm alive. Uh, well, from over here it looks kind of cool. Um, that will probably lead to my death. I'd like to get over there before they all start despawning. Also, I'd like to acknowledge that so far I've got one vote. Actually, it just came in. I'm just going to sit here while I regen. I'll bring up the one vote for the next Wither boss battle. And so far we got one vote for the nether. Which is unfortunate. I mean, <laughs> I don't know. It's going to be the tougher of the two places, but that's cool. I'm okay with that. Alright, so... What's his name? You fall now, yes! Has made a comment. So yeah, their vote is nether. So that's cool. Hey, there we go. Okay, let's kill all these guys. Let's see if there's any pigmen here that are probably aggro. There's one in there. He doesn't look aggro. Plus, he will die from the pressure. Okay. I didn't even look to see how many we have. Not very many. 17 and 11. Some of them may have despawned. And we got more falling down. So those guys probably won't die. Yeah, I'll just... I'll just kill him with the sword. 
Well, I guess no one shan't. But we can at least go take a look at this. Oops. That's one way to get rid of the graph. And I've kind of destroyed my my pathway in the process of building this. Okay. Whoa. That's you. Oh no. No, no. Oh god. These guys just kill you. They don't even let you hit them. I can't hit them. Okay. Let's not die. Okay, let's maybe get a potion of seeing. Oh, I do have a... Didn't even know I had a fire protection on me. Go away, guys. I know you still hurt. Okay, let's chug this. Oh. So pretty much the same theme, and I just lined them up with the windows. It actually worked out quite well. There's two on the edge, two on that edge. That looks pretty cool. I'll have to do something with the corner. Probably just... I think it'll end up looking like... Do I have one? I think I have a corner like that here on the other side. Or in the fire. Yep, no, okay. <laughs> yeah, it'll look like this edge. Whoa, seriously, this edge, you guys! So it'll probably look like that, with the other part coming out further, of course. So that looks kind of cool. It actually looks kind of neat with that sticking out of the edge like that. So I think I will just trim off all that, bring it straight down. And that's the redstone room in there, so I had to kind of modify that a bit there, but I didn't have to change any redstone, luckily. And hopefully I don't have to change any when I redo that. Has this guy forgot, forgotten about me? Yes. Hi, friend. How are you? Oh, God. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> Maybe that wasn't the guy. Jeez, I'm gonna die. Anyway, I might be done recording for now. I'll check the time, see what we got accomplished, and all that jazz, and we'll s talk to you in a bit. Well, crap. And burled into a zombie big man. That is unfortunate. Hmm. I don't think any of my stuff got burned up, though. Anything I need here while I am here? Anyway, I did just check the recording. We're running long. We're around 45 to 50 minutes. So this will be it. I am going to run back there. And I have been working a bit, so I was going to show you guys just what I've done. And then we call it an episode. So yeah, I'm going to go try to get my stuff. I might bring you back when I'm just about there. Otherwise, we'll see you in a bit. Yoink. Okay. We'll try to get it. Problem being is those pigmen may still be aggroed towards me. That's the case. I don't know what to do. So I brought a bunch of potions. So hopefully I can grab my stuff and run away like a coward. I think my stuff is right there. Oh, it's probably right by all that experience. That sucks, I had like 20 levels too. <laughs> okay, let's drink that. I said let's drink that. Let's drink a regen. And let's fall as gently as we can. Is that my SP? No, I don't think I made it. I tried to pearl there. But I don't think I did. Oh, there's my stuff. Ugh, gimme. Like, some of it may have burned. To see. Lost anything important. Like my feather falling boots. No. <laughs> Yeah, I think they're gone. 
course, looks like the one thing that did fall is just those. Still have pick. Still have blocks. Still have food. Ooh. Oh, I think I lost the sword too, actually. Apparently one of them died. Interesting. Well, that sucks. Oh, what's that? Ooh, a bow. Good. I'll take it. Got arrows. Anything else? Doesn't look like it. Looks like I lost the feather falling. They were almost dead, so it's not too big of a deal. Oh, blocks. Speed potions off. Where's the pigmen are gone? Well, nuts. And we just lost that looting sword. Nikes. Anyway, I guess we'll call it quits here. I'll just show you kind of what I was doing. Oh, we're getting some weird lighting because there's wiring behind there. So because of the wiring, I couldn't indent this one like that one, so I decided to maybe do the opposite. And have it come out. Go away. I was just about done. Uh, no night vision, but hopefully you can see, or I might brighten it up post-editing. That will be the structure. I think it looks okay. And I like how that juts out, to be honest. But yeah. Maybe we can get a better look from afar. If I don't nether... nether? If I don't enter pearl into another pigman? Hmm. Also, going with the recording, I noticed I'm talking really quiet. I don't know if it's because my voice is going, or if I tend to just do that. So I do. I will try to speak louder. I like that. It's almost like an office building, to be honest. It's like a skyscraper. But yeah, I'll try to speak louder so I don't have to boost. Still, still voice cracking. <clears throat> that might be part of the reason why. But lately I've been boosting the audio as much as I can in the editing software, but it doesn't really allow you to boost it too much. I'm sure if I did boost it too much, it would just create nasty feedback. Anyway, so we shall see. I also just got another vote. And they voted for the end. Grab their name. Island. Oh, that's a video. Copyright. Copyright Good Games. <laughs> Dead Space, episode 22. Yeah. Um, no momento. Okay, so our tie comment, or tie vote, I should say, has come in from Ska Vanker, if I'm saying that correctly. They've voted. Uh oh, oh no. They have voted for the end. To be honest, I was thinking the end might be easier, but I don't actually think it will be. <laughs> because you got all those Endermen to deal with as well. Is that going to make it up? Yes. Hey, guy. Oh, you... Oh, oh, oh. So, yeah. Either choice, I think, is going to be interesting. The nether, I do have a nether structure that I'm going to be at, so I will have op a lot of little nooks and crannies I think I can hide from him if he's not right on top of him. And be interesting to see what he does with the other mobs, so like the Endermen and the Blaze and all that stuff. So yeah, I'm kind of excited for for both realms, to be honest. And I'm not sure when I will do it. I'll probably leave it up for a week or so, just so we can get a few votes. And then we can go from there. But yeah, let's call it a day. Quit, day man, I'm... Clearly I can't even speak, so yes, let's call it a day. And we shall see you guys next time, and hopefully I'll have some more of this done. Go away. And I can show you the progress. Alright guys, take it easy. We'll see you next time. Bye bye Uh-oh. Damn. <laughs> 
That went just as I thought it would. And I think there's a skelly right on top of me. Oh, glitchy block. No, no feather falling. Anyway, if I die, I'll bring you back. But otherwise, later. Bye-bye.